Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the HyperX Quadcast S with the original HyperX Quadcast. And I want to compare the features and facets of this microphone as well as to talk about the capture quality of both. Fantastic microphones that I used after using Blue Yeti mics for quite a long while. And I was impressed with the features of the original Quadcast, and now I'm going to show off the Quadcast S with its RGB lighting. What you will note is there's a difference between the design of these, but both of them have similar features. They also have exactly the same specifications, which I'll leave more info on the description below but essentially the S adds RGB lighting where the original had a red light on the inside of it so it's lit up when it's in use and dark when it's muted so you know when it's muted and when it isn't but the Quadcast S allows you to adjust the RGB lighting in the Ingenuity software which I'll show you later on and I covered in the review slash unboxing but both these mics have a number of nice features that make them interesting which includes this built-in anti-vibration shock mount that's built into the base a pop filter that's built inside of it as well a really quiet gain control wheel down the bottom tap to mute microphone functionality at the top and an overall nice look and feel. They're also capable of capturing good quality audio. I'm using the Quadcast S to record the voiceover for this video and it's capturing at 48 kHz 16-bit sample rate. It's capable of 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz frequency response and it has three 14mm condensers with an electric condenser microphone setup and the specs are the same for the Quadcast and the Quadcast S in that term so if you're wondering which is better at capturing audio they're both the same. The difference is the aesthetics, the look and feel of it. The original Quadcast had these red shock mount cables that connect the shock mount to the microphone and that red pop filter look and feel to it so it really stood out and it was quite striking and really nice as well. I was really struck by the overall features. You don't usually see a stand with a shock mount built into it and pop filter as well and it's really nice attention to detail and close-up looks of it just show it off and it looks really nice for some reason with the quadcast s they've dropped the red theme and now the cables are this sort of off-white shade and i don't think it looks quite as nice it's not as striking i suppose if you're not a fan of red then it's not a problem it's a bit more understated oddly when it's turned off the microphone doesn't have any RGB lighting around the pop filter and so you just have the white cables whereas before you had red cables and the red pop filters so it really stood out on a desk and it was obvious what it was and it looked fantastic. It still is pretty obvious because these HyperX mics stand out from the crowd. They're quite nice looking. They're very unusual with this really honeycomb design around them. Really nice inner design and good sound quality capture as well. They are expensive. The Quadcast S is particularly expensive. They're both difficult to get hold of at the moment, with it being 2020, stock levels are a nightmare. But as you can imagine, they'll probably be easier to get in the future, and they are worth the money. They do capture really good audio quality and uh, deliver a really good sound, and they're very nice in that way. They will work with PC, PS4 and Mac and they use slightly different connections which I'll talk to you about in a minute. As you can see the Quadcast S is fairly understated without being plugged in now. The both of them come with a 3 meter USB cable. In the case of the Quadcast S it's a USB-C connection to USB-A and you can see a very nice braided USB cable long and capable of running down a boom arm and into a PC and giving you a good bit of length to it. The same for the Quadcast, so you get a decent size cable on both but just one is USB-C and the other one's mini USB, so it's slightly different between those two. This is a minor point but there is one thing of note is that the Quadcast S uses more power, it has more power consumption because of the RGB lighting within it whereas the original Quadcast has less because it only basically turned red and that was it. You can see the difference between them as close ups here though, the mini USB on the original Quadcast. Both of them have a 3.5mm jack that you can plug into so you can do some mic monitoring so you can hear the mic as you're talking to it and as you're using it so that you can get an idea of the quality and levels as well and adjust that but as I said there has a soft touch volume gain adjustment wheel on the bottom which allows you to turn the mic up and down if you're not quite loud enough so you can quickly and easily do that. Bonus of this 
is uh, what I liked on the original quadcast and they've retained it here is that it's incredibly quiet if you roll it it's not heard on your mic and you won't pick it up on stream for example so it's easy to adjust that on the fly without having to go into the settings within an app or something like that to mess around with that so it makes it really simple and it's the same for both mics good solid feature and a really easy simple design to that as well now both of them also have multiple polar patterns you have stereo omnidirectional cardioid and bi-directional you can switch between those using the dial on the rear. The setup's exactly the same. Cardioid is for what you're doing, what I'm doing now, doing a voiceover, talking straight into the microphone. But you can also set it up for stereo or bi-directional, omnidirectional for you, podcasting, interviews, whatever else, you people in multiple positions in the room. Now, another thing, another highlight to it is the touch to mute functionality that I showed earlier on with the original quadcast. And you can see here with the quadcast S, basically a very light tap on top there's no button so there's no button to press and make a noise on the microphone so you won't hear a discernible click if you mute it you can just tap it gently and it will mute and the light is on when it's in use and then off when it's muted and it's the same for both microphones so it's really easy to see at a glance whether it's on or not which is nice certainly very striking not something you'd see on other mics really usually it'll only be a tiny indicator LED the difference here is obviously a lot more lighting. With the Quadcast S, you get RGB lighting that's split into two zones, top and bottom. And with the Ingenuity software, which I went into more depth and review if you're interested in seeing that, you can basically cycle between different colors on those zones. So you can set solid colors, or you can set going through waves of different colors and have different colors showing up there and showing through and it's really nice and it's good to be able to customize it one downside is that you can see hot spots at the top and bottom where the rgb lighting is which lets it down in my mind both microphones come with an adapter in the box that allows you to take it off the stand while still retaining the shock mount and attach it to a boom arm this is a standard attachment that will work with any standard boom arm it has two different thread types in it that allow you to screw it into that with ease and i'll put all the details on that in the specifications below as well as links to the boom arm that i used and to everything you need to know about the mic but basically this allows you to get it off the desk which i'd highly recommend doing to be honest and putting it on a boom arm and getting it as close to you as possible doing that helps you to eliminate a lot more background noise we put it close to you can reduce the gain so it's not picking up as much of the surrounding environment and it reduces the sound that you don't want being picked up and just focuses on your voice or on what you're trying to capture so it's much better in that way and you will see that it still maintains Maintains that shock mount so it's not an additional purchase which is the nice benefit of both these microphones that you don't need to go out and buy another shock mount normally with a microphone you'd have to take it off its stand and then you'd have to get a shock mount and a pop filter and a boom arm and it's an extra and additional costs which you don't really want on top of especially on top of an expensive mic to begin with anyway in the first place but the process is really easy to take it off the stand you basically unscrew it and then screw this adapter in once you've done that, then you can then attach it to a relevant boom arm. In my case, I'm using the Blue Compass. I've been using this for a long time. It's a nice, solid, robust boom arm with a standard thread, so it's really easy to attach any microphone to it. And you can see there's a little ring dial here that you can basically screw down and tighten it up, so you're making sure you're getting the microphone into the right position to get perfect audio capture it also has channeling for the cable so you can run it down the back you can do the same with both these mics you can see here the original quadcast when i was using that i had it on the same boom arm back when it released which feels like a long time ago now and both of them look magnificent this way obviously if you're streaming the rgb lighting stands out a bit more than the standard red one on the original quadcast but beyond that, there is very little difference in terms of what it does. It captures the same quality of audio, it has the same features, just has a slight different look and feel to it. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.